What's up, Van Clan? Welcome back to the channel. Oh my gosh, we're like really freaking out. We got a call um, just a few minutes ago that they think Gailey was found. We're going to find out. We haven't told the kids or anything. We just loaded them in the car and we're going. If you guys have been following along our journey, then you would know that this is like insane. We looked for her for months. We lost her back in December. She jumped out of the car and someone said they found her in the area that we lost her, so we're going We're going to find out right now. Garrick was literally already on the verge of tears. Ready? Yep. I was just telling Garrick, we lost her back in December, so it would be like 10 months that she's been gone. Oh, she's been fending for herself that long. And you guys know, like, she was strictly just an inside cat. We looked for her for so many months, we even got like traps to try to trap her. We've called professional cat people. We've told the kids that we have a surprise for them. We should tell them before we stay there. Yeah. Hey guys, we have something to tell you. Do you remember we lost a part of our family? Remember? Remember when we lost Gilly? Remember? Well, somebody found her. We're gonna go get Gilly. Today? Yep. Right now. <laughs> you don't wanna hold her? Did you miss her? I know, you guys were best friends. Let's go get her. Do you think she's gonna remember us? It's been uh -oh. 10 months. But she hasn't even been to our new house because that's when we lost yeah. her. If you guys remember, we were moving stuff to the new house. She literally rolled down the window and jumped out of the window. She was with my brother. I was driving the bus filled with our stuff. And while Spencer was driving, she rolled down the window and jumped out. The guy that called me, he pretty much had said that she was in the area that she jumped out at. It's like a big wooded area near a water park. He was able to get her and he took her to, and I don't know why, I don't know why he got her, I don't know why he picked her up, and I don't know why he took her there, but he basically took her to a vet, they checked the chip, and it came up whose name she was and who she went to, and it's us. And now we have Mopsy, which she's never met, so I'm like, I'm hoping that they get along. So they probably won't for a little while, Garrick was saying, because they're both female. I'm still just like, shocked. Me too. Because Garrick was convinced that she had D.I.E. I just, I figured because he was dry, like, I don't know. It's really crazy that, that this is happening because you don't understand all that we went through to try to find her. Even going back to that spot, like, Catching all, all the time. these different cats. Yeah, we, we set up traps like I was telling you. We, we caught so many different cats. We caught possums. Like, we just tried everything in the book. And for this guy to just, like, go out of his way. Oh my gosh, she's right there. Do you see her in the window, babe? Yes, oh my goodness. <gasps> Can you tell me the story on how you found her? Gilly girl. I took her to the house. She's probably so scared. Oh, Gilly girl. Our kids have missed her so much. We've been looking for her, it's been 10 months. Well, we are so excited. She does not take car right no, that's how we lost her. She jumped out of the car the day we moved. And we had all of our stuff in. She rolled the window down. My girl. Hi, Gilly. We found where she belongs. Yes. Oh, my God. I don't know how to repay you. This is so. You don't know Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Gilly. Gilly, girl. Nobody's called you that in a while. I know you want to hold her, baby. Hi, baby. She looks so scared. I'm so sorry, by the way. I know you want to hold her. I'm hold on, baby. I'm these windows so she can. Oh my gosh, the kids are so excited. Can oh, I see so home? Scared. We know you want to hold her, baby. When we get home, baby, she's just scared right now. We need she's to get. So cute. We need to let her get used to us again. 
so cute. I'm so grateful that guy went out of his way. So I didn't think we would ever see you again. I know. That night, I literally cried so hard. I can't believe we got her back. That guy is like such an angel. You ready to go home, Gilly? This is where we live now. We brought a cat carrier, but she, apparently she did really awful in the cat carrier that the guy brought and like peed all over that. herself. And so I'm like terrified to let go of her and bring her in the house because I don't want her to get scared. This is our house. I missed you so much. Is she awake? Yeah. Did you miss her? It's a cat, he just said. Mm -hmm. Aww. Did you guys miss Gilly? So we just gave Gilly, it's so weird saying her name, we just gave her um, some food and water and we put her in our room and she immediately went under the bed, which we knew that she was gonna do. She is cute. Um, and we're just gonna kind of give her some space because we know that that's what she wants. She was always like a really shy cat and I think now she's just like so confused and so we're just gonna let her be under the bed and just let her hang out and give her some space. We're gonna go to the pet store and pick up some stuff for her. She's gonna probably cuddle us all night. You couldn't how she get, used to. You couldn't get me out of bed this morning and then I, I got that phone call. I didn't even believe it at first. But then I started thinking about it before we even had really talked about it. I was like, if they know it's Miss Gulch, it's her 100%. I was like, yeah. they, they checked her chip. And I didn't even think about it. Because when we adopted her, her name was Miss Gulch. And so Garrett kind of like changed her name to Gilly. And so they're like, hey, we have Miss Gulch. At first and I was like, huh? We're gonna go celebrate with beignets and... Go. You wanna go get some snow cones, guys? Yeah! Yeah! Camel, you ready? Go. You so mistaken cuz you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and i feel so free oh my sweet baby So stuck, I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. So free, oh my sweet baby. That was literally the best ever. I'm so glad we did that. Camo, you did so good in here. We just got home. The first thing I did was order her a tag. Since they didn't have like a little tag machine at that pet store we went to, also an air tag. We are not losing her again. Camo has an air tag now, Mopsy does. Yeah, I highly recommend if you don't already have them on your pets. Gilly's still sleeping under our bed in our room, getting some much needed rest she probably needs. I got my Gilly back. We gonna cuddle with Gilly tonight? Mm -hmm. She needs a bath. Yeah. I don't wanna overwhelm her though. So it's been a few hours. Gilly has come out from underneath the bed. We put all the kids to bed and I came in here. Venture woke up and so I brought him in here to like console him and I was patting his back and he was like kind of whining and then all of a sudden she just jumps up from underneath the bed onto the bed and it kind of scared me because I was not expecting her to come out from underneath the bed at least for a day or so and she just came up and started meowing and purring and just wanted attention and it's just it's literally just so surreal because you can tell she remembers us she does all the little things that we used to do with her she has this like teeth thing that she does she like when when you're petting her I don't know how to she rubs her teeth she on rubs you. her teeth on you but like just little things that we used to do with her she's doing and she just, you can tell she's just so content she's purring um yeah it's just it's crazy this is where she sleeps always on top of the pillows and she remembers that oh god i can't yeah. i can't i just can't imagine her out there for that long i know we haven't introduced her to camo or mopsy 
Yeah, just well, because. Well, they she saw Mopsy. She saw Mopsy, but Mopsy we haven't like. Mopsy was under the bed. She walked right past her. Mopsy just walked out under the bed. Yeah, but we just we haven't like really introduced them yeah, because I don't want to overwhelm her. I want her to like get used to where we're living because, like we said, we never got to show her this house. Is this where you're going to sleep right here? This is literally just so crazy. It's so weird seeing her right there. We've literally just been sitting here petting her for like the last thirty minutes. Oh, this is camo, Gilly. Oh my gosh, they're the same color. I guess she's getting introduced to camo right now. Do you even see her, Goofy? She looks like you. Hello, guys. It has been a few days. She's been sleeping with the kids a lot like she used to. You love your kitty? Yeah. Yeah. And she just, like, completes our family. I just, I want to do something for that guy because, like, he really did... He brought us home Gilly. That's insane after 10 months. Drop a comment down below and give us some suggestions on what you think we should do for him. I think we should get him like a gift card or something like that. Maybe a cat. No, just kidding. We're just so excited to have her back and the fact that he actually took her to the vet and got her checked up. He went out of his way to do that and he didn't have to do that. Like, it seemed like he was gonna keep her. I'm glad that he did that and saw that she belonged to somebody. When I called up there, they were like, hey, do you wanna get her back? Because like, I think he, Reached out to them and was like, hey, see if they want her. If not, I'm gonna keep her. But anyways, we got her back. We've had Gilly since before we even had any of the kids. So this is just, this means a lot that she's home. She's nocturnal, so she really only comes out like at night. And that's when she lays with the kids and like expects attention. Her and Mopsy haven't really like had the best um, Meeting. meetings. Yeah, they're kind of just still they're two females but i know at some point they're gonna be best friends and it's not like they're like trying to kill each other so that's good i love how she just morphs into you anyways we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here today's instagram shout out is the angel that found gilly shout out to you if you watch this video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you have not smash that <laughs> smash that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos we'll see you in the next one Finish.